Um, first and foremost, before I begin, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash. That belongs to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. I also want to give a shout out there to the whole Felect. You are him if you aquath. <laughs> Again, few aquath who are sincere and is true, as well as believers of this word, but not just believers, but doers as well. And to you, I'd like to say shalom. <laughs> and as you see, man, we're, we're back on Eve, man. You know, and really, the, the you know, the, the, the whole body, man, been on Eve, man. You know, but let's read this title. It says, Lala Anthony sets the internet on fire after brawless, brawless photo goes viral. And, you know, this, this woman, she's supposed to be a married woman, man. You know? But that's just like the live I just made, man. Through the spirit. Empower Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. <laughs> Eve is adulterous, man. Adulterous Eve, man. You know, you, you women are out of hand. You know, and it's all because of this devil. Your fucking daddy Esau, man. That put you women up on a pedestal, man. But see, the Lord is um, bringing you down. He's bringing you low. He's going to put you back in your place where you belong, man. Under the Israelite man. Because, see, here in this kingdom, you have the woman over the man. You know, she's ruling over the man. You know, she comes first. You know, like that saying, you know, ladies first. You know, in this kingdom. And that's just how, you know, punk, punk ass Esau has it, man, for you women. You know, you're, her, you're his right hand man. You know, which at the end of the day, Huh, Esau Edom don't really give a damn about you women, man. He just using you to, you know, the the bring us low. You know, that old serpent. <laughs> you know, like in the garden. You know, he's just using you. But see, Eve's so simple, she can't see that. You know, and that's why it, it's gonna take the Lord, man. It's gonna take the Lord. But um again, man, it, it, this devil has given you you women too much liberty, man. And we're going to get that. Matter of fact, let's, um, uh, matter of fact, yeah, here, here go the pictures, man. Here's the pictures. You know, she, she, she got a career, strong, independent black woman. You know, and that's, that's, that's what Esau pushed these women to get, man. You know, not just, you know, Southern Kingdom, but Northern Kingdom too. It's just much worse in the Southern Kingdom, man. You know? But um, let, let's let's get into the scriptures, man. Then we'll come back. <clears throat> Alright, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 26, and we're going to start at verse 9. It says, I'm going to highlight it. It says, the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. And look, her haughty looks. Look at, look at the pride upon her, man. And look at <laughs> fucking eyelids, man. Those lashes, man. You know. <laughs> Them calm catchers. <laughs> you know. That's what they are. And, hey, man. If, 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 hey, if you, you just... Hey, we're going to be raw here, man. You know, because I, I learned from, you know, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, man. They be raw, man. You know, they, they keep it 100. You know. They be real. And that's what we're going to do, man. You know, because I teach the same doctrine as well, man. We're going we're gonna to keep it 100. We're going to be raw. So if you don't like it, man, you get the hell on. Go watch somebody else, man. Go deal with somebody else. Go deal with IUIC and all them, man. Because here, you, you, you're going to meet real men. Through the Spirit, you're going to meet real men, man. You know, who's set up by our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. You know, but let's read this again. It says, the whoredom. Of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. And yeah, you have that, man. You know, just look how haughty you you women put yourself. You know, just how haughty you, you are, man. You know? Hey, that goes back to Pro Proverbs 16 and 18. Matter of fact, let's get it real quick. And we're going to come back to it, man. Because I don't want to be all over the place. Proverbs 16 and 18. It says, pride go before destruction. And that's what our women have. They have pride. Eve have hella pride, man. You know, you got to go chasing her. 
She feel like she don't need you. You need her. The hell? But the man is the hedge and the protection, man. He's the, you know, he's the provider, man. The hell you gonna do without a man? A Israelite man at that, man. You know? But let's keep going. And, and not even just an Israelite man. No, a man of the Lord, man. Especially to the times we're coming into. But let's keep going. It says, and a haughty spirit before a fall. And yeah, man, you women are finna be brought low. You finna be brought very, very low. Back in your place, man. Under the Israelite man. Because again, this 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 place has, you know, the woman over the man, man. That's what Esau, Edom, Kingdom is set up. You bow down to the woman. You know, you got to beg her to take care of her. What the hell? What type of shit is that, man? But that's the kingdom we live in, man. Esau, Edom, Kingdom. But let's go back to this. Sirach 26 and verse 9, it says... The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. And if, so like it says, verse 10, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. And that's what you have, man. These women, they got way too much liberty, man. Matter of fact, look, look at this. This is liberty, man. You're able to go walk outside half naked and shit, man. The hell? You wouldn't be able to do that in the ancient world. You'd get snatched up. You wouldn't be so such at ease, man. Some man would have taken you, man. And, and again, she's supposed to have a husband. The fucking wickedness of a woman, man. Man, you women, man, are, are, are ridiculous, man. You're ridiculous. Let's go over here, man. <clears throat> Sirach 25, and we're going to start at verse 13. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart, and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. Yeah, man. <clears throat> because the wickedness of a woman, man. Hey, hey let me say this, man, because Jay Glory is, is the woman, man. You see many of our forefathers, you know, and, and, and even today, man, they, they fall at the feet of women, man. You know? They fall at the feet of women, man. And, 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 and hey, <laughs> Jake, you know, the, these women out here, man, they, they be breaking Jake's heart left and right, man. They be stress Jake out and shit, man. You know, he have to <clears throat> he have to deal with the world. They come home and deal with you. Shit, man, you and your bullshit, you know. The, uh, give me any plague. I mean, so like, give me any weakness, but the weakness of a woman, man. You know, here it is. You telling her, hey, nah, don't, I don't want you going out, you know, especially dressed the way you dress, man. I don't want you doing all this shit, man. But yeah, she feel like she, she independent, you know, she feel like she can do whatever the hell she want to do, man. And she go out and do, you know, get out of bra, man. You know, doing whatever the hell she want. She go to the club anyway. After you done told her, man. After you done told her, hey, I don't, I don't want you going out, man. You know, I don't want to go out, so I don't want you going out. She don't give a fuck. She going to do whatever she want to do, man. And, hey, like the El Kazar mentioned, man, which is 100% true, man. These women out here, man, they'll do whatever to get their happiness, man. Their happiness over you. They feel like they that you're holding them back, brother. They're going to let you go, man. They're going to let you go. So, hey, it's really better, you know, if the Lord, if it's on your spirit, you know, the Lord, that's your lot. You know, it's better for you to just, you know, be single, man. Deal, hey, deal with a harlot, man. You know, you don't catch feelings, man. You know, because, hey, like Scripture said again, man, <clears throat> give me any plague but the plague of the heart. You know, which the heart, go back to the Hebrew word, law of your mind, you know, and any weakness but the weakness of a woman, man. You don't want to deal with that shit, man. No one wants to deal with that. You know? Here it is. This is supposed to be your woman, man. But in reality, brother, she's for the streets. You know? She clubbing and shit. You know, getting drunk all over the place. And Eve can't handle her damn liquor. Just ridiculous, man. But let's continue, man. It says... Let's go to... um. Verse 16. It says... I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep at keep house with a wicked woman. Yep. That's it. 
than to keep house with a wicked woman, man. Again, man, these women, they drive Jake crazy, man. You know? The wicked shit that these women do, man. You know, like going, coming up against her husband. That's wicked as hell, man. You know? A a adultery, man. Right there. Adultery. Fucking wicked, man. Again, this is an example. Look at this, man. You, This is a married woman, man. A married woman. Supposedly married, man. Hell, it don't even look like... Hold up. Don't even look like she got a ring on her finger, man. Hey, this is... Man, you women, man. Hey, let, let's get on with the lesson, man. I don't, I don't want to be on this too long, man. Let's get on with the little lesson, man. <clears throat> but let's read that again. It says, that I had rather dwell with the lion and the dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. Yeah, man. You know, because the wickedness of a woman, man, it, it can really, it can drive you there, man. It can drive you there. Moving on, I'm going to jump down to um verse 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Come. And that's what we want, especially in these last days. We want death to be upon these wicked ass women out here, man. You know? And, and you very, 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 very few sisters, man. You know, if it don't, you know, as they said, the shoe don't fit, then don't wear it, man. You know, if it ain't to you, then uh, you keep faith in your how about shim y'all shot, man. But these, you know, majority of these women, a handful of these women, you know, most of these women, the Lord is going to kill you women, man. The Lord is going to kill you for your wickedness. And you refuse to repent as well, man. Because you love it here in Babylon the Great. This is your home. This is your kingdom. You know? So the Lord is going to visit you women too, man. And Eve ain't, ain't, hey man, Eve ain't at all. She ain't nowhere near ready, you know, for, for that, that smoke with your house by some y'all was shot, man. You know? And, and especially you got them dice and shit, man. You know, you want to be men. You, you're not men. And it's going to be revealed when the Lord visits you, man. But right here, let's go to 21. It says, stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. Yep. So the, stumble not at the beauty of a woman, man. Because you can fall, you know, right into the hands of a wicked woman, man. Just by stumbling at her beauty. You know, yeah, she she fine, you know, this thing, you know, she's so fine. You know, the next thing you know, you you know, you know, slap with this motherfucker, man. <laughs> you know, gave it to her, you know, and now you can't get rid of her. You know, showing up at your house and shit, busting your windows, she find out you talking to somebody else. Hey man, stumble not at the beauty of a woman, man. You know, I know brothers slip up sometimes, but hey, stumble not at the beauty of a woman, man. Got to catch yourself, man. <laughs> you know? But, um, what else I want to get? I believe I'm going to go ahead. Let's get, because um, I'm going to get ready to end it off, man. I don't want to be too long. <clears throat> Let's get Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. All right. And this this what a woman a woman's supposed to do, man. Not, you know, this. You know, not this, not be out here brawless. It says Titus two and three it says the aged woman, <clears throat> the aged woman, likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands. To love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home. They like keepers at home. Look at that. Keepers at home. Not all out with your titties out and shit, man. You know? With your melons out, man. <laughs> you know? But then, continue. It says, good obedient to their husband. Good obedient to your husband, man. Not coming up, you know, against your husband and shit, man. You know, the hell is wrong with you women, man. Tell what's wrong with you. Esau's in your head. And he's going to get you killed. <clears throat> that the word of Yahweh be not blasphemy. Yeah, man. You, you. Hey, 
Be keepers at home, man. You know, take care of your home. Do what you got to do, man. You know, you, you women that got husbands. You know, you feel sisters. That's what you're supposed to do. Tend to your husband, man. Your children, too. You know, you're, you're the lady of the house, man. You know, but you you, you single sisters that are, you know, seeking your house by Shimmy Yahweh Shah. Hey, the Lord is going to He's got a man, you know, waiting for you, man. A man of the Lord. You know, you just got to continue to seek him, man. You know, continue to seek him. Keep the faith, man. You know, because what he says, Scripture says she shall be saved by um, childbearing, roughly paraphrasing. You know, just got to keep the faith, man. But, it, hey, if you're not seeking your how about Shem Yahushua, you don't want to seek him, hey, death unto you. You're going to die with the rest of these damn women, man. <clears throat> but, hey, Lord willing, it was edifying. I'm going to end it off with that, man. Um... Before I end it off, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash, the bonds to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who will and teach well. I also want to give a shout out there to the hopefully like you are if you are quite who are sincerely and it's true. The ones who believe as well, not just believe those as well. So next time I say Shalom, DTA, Ababa Ball, soon.